On April the 30th, 2007, just a little over three years ago, Israel Today ran this amazing headline story. Rabbi reveals the name of the Messiah. Rabbi Itzhak Kaduri was famously known for his memorization of the Bible, the Talmud, and other Jewish writings. He was a teacher and a revered master at Nahalat Yitzhak Yeshiva Seminary. He knew Jewish sages and celebrities of the last century and rabbis who lived in the Holy Land who kept the faith alive before the state of Israel was even born. Kaduri was not only highly esteemed because of his age of 108, but he was charismatic and wise. Chief rabbis looked up to him as a righteous man. Thousands visited him to ask for counsel or healing. His followers speak of many miracles, and his students say that he was a prophet of many disasters. A few months before Kaduri died at the age of 108, he surprised his followers when he told them that he had personally met the Messiah. The Messiah had appeared to him. He wrote the name of the Messiah in a note, he said. His official website had mentioned the Messiah note. David Kaduri, the rabbi's 80-year-old son, confirmed that in his last year, his father had talked and dreamed almost exclusively about the Messiah and his coming. My father has met the Messiah in a vision, he said, and he told us that he was coming very soon. Kaduri gave a message in his synagogue on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, teaching how to recognize the Messiah. He also mentioned that the Messiah would appear to Israel after Ariel Sharon passed. When Kaduri died, January the 28th, 2006, more than 200,000 people joined the funeral procession on the streets of Jerusalem to pay their respects as he was taken to his final resting place. Shortly before he died, this teacher of Israel wrote the name of the Messiah on a small note which he requested would remain sealed for one year. One year later, the note was opened in 2007. When the note was opened, it read as follows. Concerning the letter abbreviation of the Messiah's name, he will lift the people and prove that his word and law are valid. The Hebrew sentence with the hidden name of the Messiah reads like this. The acronym of that sentence, that is the letter abbreviation that Kaduri spoke of, or the first initials of each word, spell the Hebrew name of Jesus or Yehoshua, or Yeshua, the Hebrew root word of salvation. When the name of Yehoshua appeared in Kaduri's message, ultra-Orthodox Jews from his seminary in Jerusalem argued that their master must not have left the exact solution for decoding the Messiah's name. The revelation received scant coverage in the Israeli media. Only the Hebrew websites, News First Class, and Kaduri.net mentioned the Messiah's note, both of them insisting that it was authentic. Israel Today spoke to two of Kaduri's followers in Jerusalem who admitted that the note was authentic, but very confusing for his followers as well. We have no idea how the rabbi got to this name of the Messiah, one of them said. I know this. The answer of the identity of the Messiah as Jesus, given to Kaduri supposedly, is absolute truth. As such, I believe it had to have been revealed from Jesus himself appearing to Kaduri, much the same as Jesus appeared to the Jewish Pharisee Paul on the road to Damascus 2,000 years ago. It is amazing that the leading Jewish teacher of Israel until 2006 would, on his deathbed, proclaim in a message that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and is soon to return. That is astounding and almost unthinkable. It is also amazing that he was specifically told that Jesus would return shortly after Ariel Sharon's death. As of the making of this film, Ariel Sharon is still alive in a coma. Could it be that this modern day Apostle Paul received from the Lord Jesus that his return is indeed very very soon.